Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Carbonite online backup service. Now before I start this review, I just want to quickly mention that the audio on this video is being recorded with a Microsoft LifeCam model number HD5000 and I will be bringing you a review of this product to show you both the video and audio quality in a future video. Well on with the review of the Carbonite online backup system and let me briefly explain how important it is to back up your files. A lot of people nowadays uh, create important documents, take a lot of digital photos and store them on their computer and especially with things like photos they store your memories uh, for a long long time. So it's really important that as well as storing them on your computer you make some sort of backup. Now some people choose to do this to a DVD perhaps or to an external hard drive but what happens if those DVDs or hard drives corrupt or perhaps you're subject to a theft or a fire then you lose all of those files so it's really important that as well as doing those backups to external hard drives you maybe back up your files to an online service to store your files in the cloud well Carbonite offer an automatic online backup with unlimited storage capacity as well as off-site data protection secure file encryption and 30 days of versioning on your files. You can even gain access to your files via remote access and even via an iPhone or a Blackberry mobile phone so there's a lot of options there for you to get your, get to your files. So without any further talking let's have a look at the Carbonite service. Now when you first sign up for the service you install a small piece of software to your computer and you can access that via a shortcut to the Carbonite Info Center or perhaps from your taskbar down here as well. And when you launch the Info Center, you're presented with a user interface that you're seeing on your screen now. Now, I've actually got a backup running at the moment. I've got a pause button here so I can pause the backup and it's giving me some feedback about how many files it's backed up, the size of the backup, how many are pending, and the current file it's backing up as well. Also, some shortcuts here to how to add or remove files and how to manage my backup settings. So on this left hand tab I can gain access to the restore feature. I have actually tested this, you can search to restore a specific file to your computer, browse your online backup drive and even restore all of your files in one foul swoop. Really easy to do and very effective. Set options allows you to display coloured status dots next to your files and folders. I'll be showing you what that means in a short while. Set Carbonite's internet usage to low priority and that means that you can carry on browsing and surfing the net whilst Carbonite is backing up in the background. And you can even freeze your backup for safekeeping. You can set a backup schedule. At the moment I've got mine set to automatic so it constantly runs in the background or I can set it to a specific time of the day or between certain hours. There's also some advanced scheduling options here as well. Get support allows you to do just that and I'm going to show you about these dots before I go any further. If I get my explorer window up you can see here I've got a list of my video files and next to the files there are little dots. There's a yellow dot here and there's also green dots and if I perhaps go out to here I've got some folders here with coloured dots on as well and these dots are a key to what is and isn't backed up. It gives you like a status feedback on your files. Now let me talk you through what these dots mean. Now this is one of the help files that Carbonite have produced. Extremely easy to understand. A green dot indicates that that file has been backed up. A yellow dot indicates that the file is selected for backup but it has not yet backed up so it's like a pending file. If you've got a folder with a green dot on it means that all of the folder's contents have been marked for backup and that they have all been completed. If you've got a green donut or a green ring on the folder then that means that only some of the folder's contents have been marked for backup um, and that those items have completed but some of the folders or files within that folder have not been selected for backup. So maybe you've got a file that's over the maximum 4 gigabyte file size or perhaps something that isn't important to backup that you've not selected then that will be indicated by this green ring or donut. A yellow dot on a folder indicates that the folder contains files and, and subfolders that have been selected for the backup 
but have not yet completed so there are pending files within the folder so extremely easy to understand let me get my finder window or explorer window on the windows pc back up and i'm going to go into my videos completed you can see i've got one here that hasn't got a dot next to it that means i haven't selected that for backup so if i right click on it i can go to my carbonite menu and tell the system to back this up and in a short while there should be a little yellow dot there we go appeared on the file and that means that that has now been selected to be backed up if this is an important file i can right click again and give it priority and tell it to back up this file as soon as possible and this will put it to the top of the queue and mean that it will back up as the next file i can also exclude things from backup so if i right click on that one and say don't back this up it will remove that yellow dot and exclude it from the backup so extremely easy to use the fact that you've got this automatic backup is absolutely genius i think it's really good that it works in the background all of the time the last tab on this left hand panel is an about tab it tells the name of the pc that i'm backing up i'm on a three month promotional um, uh, subscription that's for my review purposes uh, when it expires and also some other information about my account down in the bottom left it shows how many days I've got left in my subscription and that brings me nicely on to telling you how much this all costs now if you go to carbonite.co.uk you can actually sign up for a 15 day free trial and if after that date you decide to continue with the service which I'm sure you will you get one year of unlimited backups a whole year of backing up unlimited uh, gigabytes of files uh, for £41.95 pence. that is fantastic value for money now you can save even more money if you sign up for a two year subscription you get it for £75.95 pence. that's nearly 10% saving on the original cost or a three year backup plan is going to cost you £101.95 that's almost 20% saving so for just over £100 you can back up all of the files on your PC or Mac uh, unlimited backup for three years for just over a hundred pounds that is absolutely fantastic and as I say you've got file encryption the peace of mind that your files are backed up off-site so if anything ever happened to them you would not have to worry about being able to restore them to your computer now I've been really pleased with how the Carbonite service has been working out for me I will be bringing you another video very soon showing you Carbonite running on a Mac OS X system. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the Geek Noise channel so you don't miss out on my future reviews and also get my regular updates by following me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids. This video is sponsored by MyMemory.com. For great prices, fast delivery and reliable customer support, visit MyMemory.com.